Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. How are you today? Today I want to talk to you about um, the main topic, which is ascension is the new normal. A lot of people may not know what that means, but like it or not, worldwide, we are ascending out of a lot of things. Now, this may not be news to a lot of us that have sort of been on the forefront of this. We're ascending, right? We know it. We go through ascension symptoms. Every time there's a retrograde or a full moon, everyone's like, whoa, fasten your seatbelts. But there is more to it than you might realize. And we are in the death row, death rows, the death throes of this stuff here, this ascension and descension and getting out of all of the old paradigm. So that's going to take a little bit of time because in order to do it at the human level, it just is subject to linear time. It's your light body that is subject to quantum time. So ascension is the new normal and this involves your subtle bodies. The subtle bodies are parts of you that aren't seen, but they can be felt. Some people can detect them. I can detect them. They're overlap. They layer with each other. Not a lot of people know about that. And, you know, because other parts of the world can't prove it exists, they think it's not there. They think people are imagining it, but it's not imaginary. It's the part of you that does involuntary movements. It's the part of you that if you rub your eyes, you see colors, don't rub too hard. It's the part of you that if you have a twitch in the muscle, that's some part of you that's trying to like get something out. So there's ways that you can know about this. It's how you detect or sense the atmosphere in a room it's how you detect and sense differences in the climate. And again, not everyone can, not everyone has their senses dialed up. For some people that are overly sensitive, you're down here, you're being very affected by frequencies that are in the lower range, low vibrational, and it, it can have a big effect on you. In fact, you need to get up and you need to be able to start working on the subtle body integration. The very first one of which is the spirit subtle body. Yes, the actual return of the spirit, which is why much of this feels so spiritual in nature. But the word spiritual conjures up all kinds of stuff for people, some of it friendly, some of it not so friendly, such as um, it could be churchy for some people. It could conjure up a you know, some type of a crusade or martyrdom that they wish that they hadn't embarked on. Um, there's all kinds of stuff coming out of people right now. I mean, it is busting at the seams. We're in a very highly emotional uh, moon energy here, and it has a lot to do with the retrograde. It's intended to bring a lot of peace and fun back to everyday living but it doesn't feel like that right away. And so, you know, what if you're embarking on someone new? So during this transitionary time, 2020 is an entire transition year, transition. For most people, it is not the full transformation yet, although it starts here, right here, right now. You are getting rid of past tribulations and some people don't want to give credit to that. But in all honesty, everything that I've done, it's one of my gifts to be able to help people understand their past lives, what has happened, what's happened in the past without a total review of entire world history. Because it's not just world history. It's cosmic history. It's your angelic history. It's the angelic human part of you that is wanting to be more of the angelic and less of the human. Even though we attribute, you know, the strength of the human spirit, that's the spirit. That's your spirit subtle body. That's your spirit subtle body. So the template to 5D is new. It's brand new. And the reason is so that nobody can hack into you anymore. They can't manipulate you. They can't downgrade you. 
They can't use your gifts for their own devices. They can't, you know, connive over you. There's a thing that happens. Your new template starts detecting it. And you don't have to walk around all fearful because you know what the other good thing is? Your subtle body actually winds up deflecting a lot of things. So that bubble of love that a lot of people think gets lost and then you have to trip around with psychology and research, it all is in the new body. This even throws people off because I recently worked with someone who needed to talk about it. Suddenly things were tumbling out and it was happening at such a pace that they didn't realize they're not going to slip into that back old place anymore. They were, they were becoming new. They could be a new self of them. So this is something that I have found absolutely remarkable about the structure of your new blueprint, your new template. It's not going back to the original. A lot of people say that, oh, the original uh, blueprint of the, no, this is new, which means things are in different places and things are on the move. It is a moving target. There are things that have to elevate within you. There are things you have to open up. And I instruct in that. I instruct in that in my classes. I instruct in that in my webinars and in personal sessions. So what else about this? A lot of people would like answers like, when is that person showing up? I, I've gotten that question for years. Well, when are they going to call? When am I going to get kissed? When, 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 and the short answer is, is that if you have deep things, deep damages, traumas, blocks, whatever you call it, those things usually have to shift and you can go into a form of separation that enables this um, to not allow you to continue to be subjected to certain things, first of all. The next thing is that you actually may be grateful for some separation because that enables you to focus on yourself without getting distracted of all the other things having to do with a relationship. Because like it or not, all of us are carrying relationship patterns and we're trying to carry that into our twin flame union. And that just doesn't work because union, coming into union means you're unifying yourself. So from that standpoint, even people who live together, if they haven't unified, they may not get along. They might argue all day long. They might, you know, um, think that, you know, that kind of drama means they're passionate about each other. But that's not what that means. Drama is not passion. And sometimes all it takes is a little touch the wrong way and the person gets triggered and they're off and running to the races, arguing yet again or arguing the way their parents did. So the 5D template takes a lot of those things away from the head so that that's not even on the table anymore, okay? But it takes five to six months to integrate by doing the body work, my body work, my modality. And I've had people time and again say, this is working for me because I affect quick results. We start getting things moving. What if you're a female? You might be having very, very heavy periods and feeling very perimenopausal, like premenopausal, but maybe it's not your time. So what's up with that? It has to do with needing you to integrate the new template. So where does this affect people first? Because the ascension is the new normal. The things that have to leave first are attachments, and this can include family and friends. It can include, will especially be addictions. Your soul doesn't need you to be addicted to anything. Want me to say that again? Your soul doesn't need you to be addicted to anything. Not cigarettes, not alcohol, not marijuana, not DMT, not crystal, not Tina, not any of the street drugs, not any of the people that you may have found so dramatic because there's a lot of drama and it's like a soap opera. If you are saying to yourself, 
I feel like I'm living in a soap opera. Pay attention to that because guess what? Those are part of the things that leak. You have no idea how exhausting that is and you have no idea how that actually takes a toll on your heart and your emotional body. Let's just talk too about, you know, this, this whole pandemic, being compassionate with people. It's almost becoming exhausting for a lot of people to be kind and considerate and, you know, just having like the means to just dredge up another, you know, oh, it'll be okay while everything is popping out of people. I mean, there's a real disparity about everything that's going on. I'm from a big city. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And there's a lot of stuff getting fixed because it needs to get fixed. There's a lot of attention finally being put where it needs to be put. And people have to pay attention to this because when you're saying, how is this going to happen? It's new. It's new. It means you being new. So the transition out of that old place into being a new you is taking place within 2020. Took people a few months to start to catch on because even people that are unaware of ascension as a term, they're aware that change, positive change needs to happen. Now, there's no bigger positive change than actually being able to have a brand new twin flame body. A brand new twin flame body that holds the love together, delightful things that happen, sensations, communicating over enormous distances, feeling good, feeling that you're already together, even if you're still in that form of separation that is enabling you to heal from some things. I have the full plan. Um, join now. I will be doing a series of uh, webinars to help guide you through it, to help you integrate where we can take some time to uh, focus on that. Look for the links below. I have um, sessions. There is the Spirit Subtle Body Session. There is Twin Flame Coaching. And when I do a session, we also focus on health. We focus on nutrition. I am a medical intuitive. I help to guide you if there is something that is related to your ascension to help you, in addition to encouraging you to get what's needed. So if there is something, I will be able to help you with that. I give you the what to do and each and every time is recorded. So, you know, we have to start getting away from where as the cosmos is turning and the moon cycles are going to keep bringing things, that too has shifted. Each moon cycle is now different. Full moon to half moon to new moon. And for some people, it's going to be some of the darkness that needs to either be gotten away from or where they're getting away from their own darkness. The things that have um, troubled people for so long can now start to shift. And that is huge chronic conditions. So I have the information for helping people with the body so that you have brand new connections and you don't feel like being addicted anymore. Just to give you an example, some of the people I've worked with that took DMT, for example, which is one of those gray area type of medicines. Yes, it's plant medicine, but it's also something that is used um, frequently by people. It's been used during rituals. It's been used for rituals in the past, in history. But it fries the circuits of the brain so thoroughly that it takes a good year to actually have the new template knit back into place and restore proper function. Now, it's not that people aren't fully dysfunctional, but they're not functioning on all cylinders. And that's the kind of thing that at a soul level, 
your soul doesn't want. Your soul doesn't want you to not function properly or feel like you blew a gasket or feel like you're always bursting at the seams or feel so overly empathic that it leads you into a form of disability. Many people want to be autonomous. They're claiming their sovereignty, but being truly sovereign means having the full function that goes with it. Functioning and fun, okay? Putting the fun back into your day in and day out lives along with the togetherness. So contrary to what people do say out there about, you know, is this for everyone? The template is for everyone. The template is for everyone. You were invited here to receive the template for 5D, the brand new template or blueprint, which I call the twin flame body. It seals together with the other person who is the other, not a false person, not a soulmate, not someone that, you know, really has no interest in you whatsoever. So check it out. Look for the links below check out my website or email me. Thank you very much. Bye.